Once again to another episode of A Vertical Connection. My name is Maine and I'm grateful to God for allowing me to share the word He has given to me. Our devotion for today is entitled, Where is our Mission Field? When you hear the words mission field, what comes to your mind? Most of us, when we hear the words mission field, we think of traveling to a distant place where unfamiliar language is spoken in a culture dramatically different from our own. In a traditional sense, yes, that is true. But have you ever considered that the mission field might be down the street? Or maybe just outside of your workplace? Or maybe just outside of your home or your apartment? Just before Jesus departed the earth, he gave these the marching orders to his followers, which can be found in Acts 1 verse 8. Jesus said, But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you. And you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. Jesus made it clear that his plan included the entire planet. But before taking the gospel to the world began with the people in closest proximity to his followers. In the verse that we read, uh, Jesus describes four mission fields and it can be used or we can use it to identify the network of our influence. First is that, when Jesus said, you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem. Who is Jerusalem represents in our lives today? As we know, Jerusalem is a sacred place and most holy and it represents our home and the center of our church activities. So ito yung mga tao na napakalapit sa ating buhay. Ito yung ating pamilya at ito yung mga kasakasamahan natin sa ating simbahan. Ito din yung mga tao na kung saan uh, kasama natin sa simbahan na nangangailangan ng wisdom ng Panginoon o ito din yung mga tao na nagsisimula pa lamang sa ating simbahan na nangangailangan ng guidance natin. Second thing is that when Jesus said, you will be my witnesses in Judea. In the map, we can see that Judea is the neighborhood of Jerusalem. So ito yung mga tao o nararepresent ng Judea, yung mga tao ngayon sa atin na malalapit. Ito yung mga kasama natin sa trabaho, mga kaibigan natin o mga kabarkada natin, o ito yung mga tao na kapitbahay natin. Third is that when Jesus said you will be my witnesses in Samaria. Ito mga Samaria na to, ito yung mga tao na nirerepresent, yung mga taong hindi natin masyadong pinagkakatiwalaan o hindi tayo komportable yung pakisamahan. But Jesus said, love your neighbor, love your enemy. Last is that, you will be my witnesses to the ends of the earth. Ito yung mga tao, grupo ng tao na kung saan nakakasama natin sa ating short-term mission trips or mga global initiatives or yung mga tao na kung saan nakakasama natin o nakakapartner natin sa ating mga missions na iba't ibang kultura sa iba't ibang parte ng mundo. However, in Matthew 9 verse 37 to 38, Jesus said to his followers, There is such a big harvest of people to bring in, but there are only a few workers to help harvest them. God owns the harvest, ask him to send more workers to help gather his harvest. Jesus says here that the harvest is plentiful. What is the harvest? Are its large group of people in faraway land who haven't heard the gospel yet? Or could it also be right where we live? In our home, with our neighbors, in the shopping malls, in the factory, or in our workplace? Well, the harvest can be anywhere and everywhere. Where there is a harvest, this is where our mission field is. We are all created to serve the Lord Jesus Christ. Some are called to the other part of the world. Some are called to work the uh, ground of their hometown. But you know what, brothers and sisters? At this time of pandemic, kayang-kaya natin makipag-reach out sa kanila na hindi natin kailangang uh, puntahan sila personally dahil sa technology na meron tayo ngayon. Andyan yung FaceApp, andyan yung Zoom meeting, andyan yung FB or other applications na pwede natin gamitin sa pakikipag-communicate. Katulad na lamang ng ginagawa natin ngayon, our weekly devotions, o yung tinatawag natin na vertical connections, o yung ating online Sunday service. So, ang karing ng Panginoon dahil hindi na natin kailangan um, pupuntuhan, puntahan sila personally at wala ng hindrance. In short, kayang-kaya natin spread yung good news anywhere and everywhere. In Psalm 24 verse 1, The earth is the Lord's, and everything in it, the world 
and all who live in it. Yes, a few are called to go, but most are called to stay. And this is no lesser of a story to believe in. If God is everywhere, and He tells us that He is, then He loves all the earth, and we can serve Him in any corner of it, including the one at the end of our own street. We are all missionaries because none of us are home. We are in a foreign place, in a culture where we are not true citizens but sojourners. Yes, maaring tayo po ay diniklarang permanent resident or citizen ng Canada o ng Pilipinas o kung saan bansa ka man naroroon ngayon. But remember, we are only declared by papers. Why did I say this? Because in Philippians 3 verse 20, our citizenship is in heaven. Missionary simply means someone has or is on a mission. So let us not diminish the privilege that we are all of being part of a great mission too. We have been sent, you have been sent, and I have been sent. We were sent the first part of life flickered in our mother's womb to this earth and to wherever we are today. God put you where he wants you. God doesn't work by accident. He is intricately intentional with how he guides our lives. The people around you, the ones you dislike and the ones you like are all God image bearers and they all need the grace of Jesus Christ. And you know what? You need it too. And I need it too. Before I end this, I want to conclude our devotions today. As we receive the grace of Christ, so we will want to serve Him. Serve Him by working as the laborer for the gospel. Look around you. Consider what God might be doing and ask Him what's next. Opportunities are all around. So ask yourself, what God has placed in front of you who needs help? Who in your family member needs support? Which friend has been struggling with temptation or, or a broken heart? When God works through us to meet the needs of others, that's missions. So let us turn our everyday life into God's mission field. I believe we will be amazed at what He does as we surrender our comfort zone and partner with Him. Let us pray. Dear Lord, help us to continuously be aware of all people around us every single day. Where there are people, there are needs. Give us your eyes to see some of those needs and the wisdom to know how to help as well. Help us to be your hands and feet as we serve others right where we are at. And allow them to see your light in our lives as we do work in your name. Amen. This ends our devotions today. I hope that God has touched our minds and hearts by the words we heard a while ago. Please do not forget to like, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and hit the notification bell button for more upcoming episodes of A Vertical Connection. God bless everyone!